Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for February 11th, 2019. So, hey, on Friday, we had an excellent um, show of strength by the bulls. If you take a look here, I have been mentioning, well, I mentioned all last week that this was kind of a key level of support psychologically as well for the Dow at 25,000. And we pushed down there and breached down through that area just slightly. And then the bulls came back in at the end of the day on Friday, defending that area strongly. And that's a nice thing to see. So in that defense, we have a very, very good potential long setup and a bullish trend that continues to move up. So we have this nice bullish type uh, pattern here where we've moved up and pulled back testing support. And now this morning we're seeing those futures push through, kind of shake off some of the negative stuff that's in the news and push through and we're looking at a gap up open this morning, only of about 60, 70 points right now. But that's okay, a little follow through on that would certainly add some confidence in the market. So uh, once again, this support level is pretty critical. And if we were to slip um, on this move, um, slipping down in here, I don't think would create any kind of major problem for the market. We could still rally easily off of that. And if we start looking in here, for resistance levels, we have the obvious resistance level of that high right there. And then we start looking right in here for those highs, um, potential uh, for resistance if we begin to move up. So right now, diamond's looking pretty good. Everything kind of copacetic with the market right now. A lot of warm and fuzzies seem to be out there for the market. But we do have some considerations this week that we have to pay attention to. First off, we're going to resume the U.S.-China trade ne negotiations. Of course, we know that any new spin out of there that happens to be somewhat negative could definitely derail this market. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. We're approaching those deadlines here the end of February, uh, first, first of March, when they have to come up with some kind of a trade deal or those tariffs increase to 25%. So we're kind of winding that uh, that process down we've got another um, you know 15 days or so to get us there hopefully um, some of the news will come out of there positive because if it does come out positive the market will likely soar on that news if we can kind of get that negotiation handled and finally put to bed also we have the federal government uh, congress locked in a deadlock at the moment um, about um, the budget and once again we face the potential of a government shutdown friday evening unless they can come up with some kind of deal. I do know that they worked um, partially through the weekend, but they at this point are at an impasse on um, those decisions. So if a, if a deal can't be struck, we face another government shutdown. And of course, the market would likely view that negatively. So let's keep that in mind. Also kind of keep in mind that there is this um, lingering story that just keeps running around and running around out there. And that is the potential of um, global shut or global slowdown and the possibility that's cropped up of a global um, economic recession. So kind of keep that in mind. The market's got a lot to chew on. So what are the rules about trading a gap up open? Well, if you guys remember, I always say on a gap up open, we have to be very, very careful not to chase that open. Let's wait and make sure that the bulls will step in and support that gap. So what does that mean? If you take a look at a short term chart, we get that market gapping up in the morning. What we want to see is we want to see if there's any kind of a pullback or anything um, this morning after that gap up we want to see those bulls stepping in supporting that gap um, and leaving that open space in here for uh, that gap just showing that nice support of of that process we want buyers to step up and support that process so we'll want to watch that closely if they don't step up remember we have that possibility of any gap up of what i call a pop and drop we pop up in the morning sellers come in 
pushing it back down throughout the day. We don't want to see that this morning, so watch that closely. Let's take a quick look at the SPY, SPY looking pretty darn good here. Um, same thing here is true. This was a key level of support that I marked out last week. I said we need to hold that. We certainly did a great job of that on Friday and now gapping up this morning looking good once again i think um, any test down in this range we would be okay here in the market we could move down into there and still be okay in the market and bounce off of that uh, please keep in mind moving higher we have the potential resistance here and then we have a major level triple top resistance right here um, if we push up through there so let's kind of keep that in mind but right now trends are good and strong bulls are in control let's see stay on that bullish side let's take a look at the cues cues looking great here also bouncing off of that key level of support that i marked in here last friday i mean last week and we've bounced off of that nicely gapping up this morning everything looking pretty copacetic here um, on uh, this market once again we could move down into this area if we kind of start struggling here a little bit we could move down into this area without creating any real technical damage in the charts and then of course anything up in here we have to watch for that potential resistance area okay so watch those areas up here as we move on up and last but not least is IWM taking a look at the Russell. The Russell held up really, really well, um, not even pulling back to test this level of support in here. So I got to say the Russell looks pretty darn strong right here at the moment and moving up this morning, a nice hold on Friday, moving up this morning in a gap up so we'll want to watch this area up here for resistance and then of course these um, levels above that if we start pushing through and also keep in mind any more rest pullback consolidation in here that holds above this level doesn't hurt the technicals of this uh, pattern at all at the moment so watch watch that let's take a quick look at the vix the old vix um, started up on Friday looked like we could have a little bit of trouble there and then quickly quickly dissipated um, in the afternoon as those bulls step up stepped up to de de to defend so uh, tongue-tied this morning I guess so if we take a look right here you can see we have a significant level of support and that runs back for a long long time big level of support in there if the bulls are going to show strength here and uh, th today and hold on to that we could easily sink down into here without fear continuing to drop out of the market and if we fail through that support that would be a really good sign uh, for that fear indicator of course um, you know if the bears were to come in if we stumble in some way on a news report or whatever bouncing off of there wouldn't be all that big a surprise either so kind of keep that in mind we're, we're right at that point where we hopefully those uh, the bulls will maintain that control will push down and break through that level of support Let's take a look at T2122. T2122 for a long time was my biggest concern. And it's still, we're still in that, um, you know, uh, region where we do have to watch for concerns of potential pullback. But I got to tell you, we had a great change in this. Just this little rest, this, just this little pullback right here gives us lots of potential room for uh, uh you know bulls to resume this trend and, and move back higher so we do have room to go up of course uh, t 2122 also tells us we do have a big open space down here where we could move down if we get a failure so let's hope those bulls can follow through push on up continue to drive forward and um, get we have more upside potential here in this chart let's go to um our economic calendar real quickly um, our economic calendar today we don't have much of anything that's going to move the market around here uh, which can be a good thing and a bad thing it kind of leaves the market up to its own devices but as you can see about all we've got going here is a couple bond auctions to really uh, pay attention to uh today so really quiet 
on that economic front. Let's take a look um, on the earnings calendar. We had about 110 companies reporting earnings today. Significant number of companies um, that are out reporting, so we're gonna have to stay on top of that. Watch that closely as um, those earnings reports begin to move us around. But the good news is they have been largely supportive of price. And even though we've had our disappointments this earnings season, the majority have come in pretty well, continuing to push that market higher. That's what we want to see. So as long as those earnings continue to fuel those uh, bulls and give them the energy to uh, continue to power on, that's what we would like to see here. Let's... Um before I go any further, I would like to just ask you guys, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, to please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube, and if you happen to be watching this video on Facebook, um, click that thumbs up button, uh, or, or um, please uh, click the like there as well. Click those thumbs up buttons. Also, please do me a favor, um, leave a... Um, a very quick it doesn't have to be a big one but just leave a uh, uh, a quick comment those comments and those thumbs ups really help the algorithms to show these videos to more folks and I really truly appreciate you guys that are supporting the channel uh, by just taking that moment to do that I appreciate it a ton it's helping a lot we're getting these videos to more folks you guys are awesome thank you thank you very much so with that hey how about we take a look at the potential of some trades we have lots and lots of good bullish charts out there to take a look at and um, I'm going to click on my alert console here you can see I just have lots and lots of trading alerts set because there's so many good potential charts so let's take a look at those one of those that come to mind right now um, SQ SQ beautiful uh, finish on Friday nice chart pattern looks like it's getting a little bit of a gap up this morning SQ looking very very good a potential trade that you guys might want to keep an eye on or at least put this on your watch list really really good looking um, at the moment if we take a look there are good signs showing in quite a few places take a look at Merck here Merck after breaking its downtrend nice little consolidating after and holding above this support level price support level showing good signs a nice little morning star pattern don't be surprised if this consolidates a little bit more Merck's not one that just really takes off and runs as a general rule but very nice morning star pattern here and looking like it could potentially push on through so one to pay attention to keep an eye on Starbucks Starbucks beautiful upward trend breaking out on Friday looking good this once again remember um, very very common for stocks to move over toward their trend so even though we're popping out just don't expect this to just run off to the races but it's looking very very bullish here continuing to stay very uh, strong Starbucks might be a place to look there's a couple retailers out there starting to show some good positive signs like um, Abercrombie here um, breaking through this resistance a fairly significant bottoming pattern um, in nice upward trend testing a resistance level it's moved up to its trend we want to watch this for a potential to pop out and that's looking pretty good seeing good signs and stocks like um, uh, MasterCard great move on Friday MasterCard pulling back toward its trend showing bullishness of course we we have a resistance of the high up here that we'll have to pay attention to but right now just looking pretty darn good Twillow Twillow same type of pattern um, that big breakout high here holding its trend pulling back to support popping through good bullish signal by the way any of these pink lines um, that you guys see are um, trade alerts and i've been um, watching these stocks very very closely um, and last but not least let's take a look at pan w p a n w paula alto um, looking really really good on friday very strong after popping through this level of resistance holding it as support maintaining its trends buyers stepping in here and it looks like 
um, Pan W has a chance of moving up here to attack its um, all-time highs. So watch that one closely. Really nice looking chart. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day and I want to wish you great profits. Please do me a favor. Click those thumbs up buttons. Click those and, and leave a comment. That truly helps me out a lot. And I want to wish you all a great, great day of trading. Please, everyone, those of you that might not be out there struggling, Please realize that trading is not the easiest thing in the world to do, but it is worth continuing the effort. Um, so continue to study. Never give up on yourself. Never give up on that dream. Everyone take care. Have an awesome day. We'll talk to you all bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a great one.